a TV series of French origin, produced by Gamut and released on Netflix in January 2021. The two creators, George Kay and François Ouzan, were inspired by the famous novels by Maurice Leblanc, whose protagonist was the gentle thief Arsène Lupin. The protagonist of the Netflix Prime TV series is Hassan Dio, played by an amazing Omar Sy, able to give credibility to many of the issues treated in the various episodes. Just like the original novel of the early 1900s, the Netflix series develops following the dynamics of the detective genre, but seasoned with a pinch of thriller and something of crime. Currently, due to the COVID-19 pandemic that has affected the whole world, only five of the ten Planet episodes have been published, which are expected to be released in the mid-2021. The story follows the life of Hassan Dio, the son of a Senegalese immigrants looking for a better life for his son in France. The situation in Paris has always been quite difficult due to exploitation perpetrated against the black people, emphasized in most of the scenes of some episodes. In fact, the components that will be the subject of our analysis are clearly notable, which are poverty, immigration and the corruption of the bourgeois class. The whole story rotates around the revenge and the justice that Hassan wants to take after that his father has been accused and condemned of a crime he never committed by a wealthy family he worked for. After this episode, the young man is sucked into a spiral of brutality and cruelty of life, alone in a foreign country and without reference points. He comes out only thanks to a period of studies secretly paid by the Pellegrini family, and during which he will meet his future wife and mother of his son. The whole scene is constantly dominated by the contrast between Hassan's action and the frenetic research for capturing him by the police. The protagonist, now an expert in thief and following the scheme of Lupin's novel given by his father, always managed to get away with it, until the moment in which his enemy and admirer will probably become an ally. As we will see in the story, the first topic treated is revenge. In fact, in the first episode, Hassan, in the role of Paul Cernin, an anagram of Arsène Lupin, tries to steal the necklace which uh, indicted his father 25 years earlier. For some power gains and for the corruption of police officer, the Pellegrini family managed to stage a thief and frame an innocent man whose only fault was coming from Senegal. The immigration from Senegal to France began immediately after the Second World War. The condition in the country became increasingly more difficult, so that men and women decided to try their luck. Very often, just like Hassan's father, they find themselves working for a wealthy Paris bourgeois family as domestic workers or private chauffeurs. Also, if our series is set in the present day, we can still find some similarities with what has been said, and we can clearly appreciate the phenomenon of racism towards minorities. To date, about 100,000 immigrants from Senegal live in the city of Paris, mostly living in poor neighbors of the city and often having to work for or with small local criminal groups. In fact, we note how Hassan himself has to deal with a small criminal group of the Paris underground, which he will use wisely for implementing his plan and steal the necklace. In the scenes in the poor suburb of the city, we can see many similarities with many other films or TV series that portray Paris as a dangerous place full of pitfalls. If we take notice, the issues traded are always quite similar, in fact, we find poverty, immigration and corruption. Unfortunately, poverty in France is a concrete problem, which is going to bring the rising of criminality. This research, 60% in some areas of the city, making them unusable for most citizens. Furthermore, according to the latest data, more than 5 million people, out of a total of 67 million, live below the poverty line. This is set at 647 euros, although many lonely people do not arrive at 400 euros for months. The fight for the hidden truth behind the protagonist's tears for revenge leads him to have problems within his life. In fact, his instability 
The forgetfulness and the thief distanced him from his wife and partially also from his son. The challenge declared to the Pellegrini family drags him into a circle of corruption and power gains that unfortunately afflict France and other European countries as well. In fact, during the course of the story, we will see that Hassan first loses his journalist friend who has helped him to get to the truth, and finally his son, kidnapped by a headman of Pellegrini. The series enjoyed particular success in France. However, this has also extended to other European countries such as Italy, Germany, Spain, Denmark and Sweden. Obviously, for uh, reaching the top 10 of Netflix uh, for the most viewed, a lot of work regarding the production phase was needed. The Lupin series is characterized by a third-person narrator. In fact, we do not experience uh, the succession of the events between the eyes of the protagonist, but we follow him closely by trying to enter inside his mind and almost predict all his moves. Important revelations are often made in form of flashback, especially when he realized that he has been tricked as he was a child. With the evolving of the story, each piece begins to fall into place and the viewer is able to understand the questionable dynamics behind Hassan's actions. We particularly appreciated the use of modern shooting techniques, especially for establishing shot, through the use of drones and cranes, and also the choice not to capture in detail the moments in which later you will have to return. The camera movements do not show, for example, how the necklace was actually stolen, but only later, with the completion of another piece of the history, it will be shown as a flashback. The choice to end the episode 5 with the kidnapping of Hassan's son leaves us free space for imagination and keeps us glued to announcement of the series, waiting for the final, conclusive chapters to come out in the middle of the current year.